Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Watts with your News 5 update. Take a look, 37-year-old Kevin Chester wanted for multiple felony warrants, including eluding police in Colorado Springs last night. Officials say he didn't stop when a deputy tried pulling him over. He eventually dumped the car, fled on foot. Deputies searched the area, but say he got away. If you see him or know where he is, call the sheriff's office. No charges will be brought against the Colorado Springs officers involved in an in-custody death that happened back in May. Officials say the suspect, Chad Burnett, was threatening to kill his neighbor. Things escalated. Officers tased him, but he continued to resist arrest. Minutes later, he was pronounced dead. The coroner says several factors contributed to this, including the physical altercation, but he ultimately died of heart failure. A new wildfire sparked in southern Colorado. This one's called the Willis Creek Fire, burning about 16 acres in rugged terrain outside Colorado City. Folks in that area under pre-evacuation orders this fire 25% contained and the two year old bear saved in the East Canyon fire a few months ago has been released back into the wild. The yearling suffered severe burns on all its paws, was taken to Frisco Creek rehab to recover, and now he's doing good back in the wild. Now here's Mike Daniels. Thank you, Elizabeth. The heat goes on all across the viewing area. Tuesday highs 92 in Colorado Springs, Pueblo 101, La Junta and Lamar came in with highs of 102 degrees. Overnight tonight, dry skies dropping back into the 50s and 60s, low 60s in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Two more really hot days around here. They start tomorrow, 90s and 100s again. Next hot day is on Thursday, then a cold front brings in cooler air Friday. Good chance of seeing some afternoon thunderstorms Friday into Saturday. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.